Hi, hello, it's me again. I'm back. My name is Marina, I'm 57 and I live in Sweden. Today I am really excited because I am doing a collab with you with my dearest friend Erika, Erika Conger. Um, I have been eyeing a palette for a long time, never got around to buy it and then it was on half price. It's the Colourpop Stone Cold Fox palette and I know, knew that Erika has it too so when I have had ordered it I asked her if she wanted to do a collab with you with that one. Uh, so here we are. Uh, uh, this is also a bit of a Christmas themed um, video. Uh, when we were discussing what type of video we will do, you know, palette bingo or whatever, um, she came up with the idea that, well, we did a bingo. That's not the point. I'll take that first. We're, Erica has randomly chosen colors um, I am the worst I always get really bad color combinations so she did it and I had s glued some it's not glued it's sticky things that I have put there just so that I will remember what shadows we got <laughs> because I have no memory uh, and I think it's really a really great color story easy to work with so it's this one, bone color. I will obviously use that one under my brow. Uh, it's called Lux. And then it's this beige, grayish beige shimmery shadow called I Did It. And that one is uh, a beige matte one, Query Days. Uh, and then this is kind of a duochrome one. It shifts a little bit. A Gnaze guy and the best of all we got a matte black I'm so happy for that it's called rock bottom so that's the color story that Erica randomly picked uh, yeah so we thought it will be a bit Christmassy themed video um, so I have 10 questions that Erica sent to me. I don't know if she made them up herself or if she have seen them around somewhere. I don't know. I will start with the the Lux one, the matte bone color one. It's pretty light, so maybe it's a bit too light, uh, but I don't care. I will powder under my eyes first because I haven't got a clue if there is gonna be fallout or not since I have never used this palette. Well, Erica, uh, I'm so glad that you want to do this with me. Um, if you haven't seen Erica, please go to her video, her channel, that is, <laughs> uh, and watch her. She is amazing. She does the most pretty looks and she is funny and she is a great storyteller. I love what listening to her when she starts to tell her stories. Uh, yes, that's pretty light. But I, she also makes me laugh pretty often because of those stories. Um, things you've been telling Erica, I'm glad you're still alive. <laughs> hurting yourself constantly. Speaking of which, I actually yesterday uh, stepped on a thing that went through my shoe and into my foot. So my foot is now very swollen and sore. Uh, it's okay, it will be fine. But uh, uh, anyhow, she is a great storyteller. Um, and a really lovely, lovely person. Always happy, always laughing and being funny. I love you, Erica. Uh, that was that. So now I will go on to the color called Query Days. I, uh, I haven't prepared my brushes. I'm so sorry for that. Well, so for the questions, 
Um, the first question is, what is your favorite Christmas carol? I don't know. <laughs> That's a simple answer. Um, around here, especially when the kids are at home, there is Christmas music on all the time. Um, I don't have a... Well, I guess I have, but they're really different to each other. Someone are, some are, you know, those more... Not... How should I explain it? Sang by a choir, more like the ones that you hear when you're in the church, or I used to sing them when I was in school. I was in the school choir. Uh, don't for a minute think that I can sing because I can't. <laughs> um, you know, and I don't only know the Swedish names of the songs, but if I should choose Bam. Among all those like pop songs, or what should I call it? You know, like the ones from Mariah Carey, for example. All I want for Christmas. I like that one. Maybe a bit cheesy, but it makes me happy when I hear it. Uh, I did I say uh, query days in my crease? Um, yeah. And there is a song. Uh, from a group called the Pogues, I think. I think they're Irish or something. Um, don't know the name of the song, but I like it. Uh, should have looked it, looked it up before I started the film, but I forgot. Uh, so, well, I like a lot of Christmas songs. Uh, what is the Christmas tradition you love the most? Well, there's a lot, but the thing that is most important to me, and this may be sound strange in your ears, especially if you're from the States. Now you have to bear in mind that I, when I grew up, there were only two channels on TV. Uh, TV shows or children's program were only one hour a day in one of those channels. That was it. Uh, we didn't have a, what do you say, video recorder. Uh, so animated, you know, Disney movies and things like that didn't exist. Um, they were never on TV. Never ever. Um, cartoon, you know, all that stuff. So we had that children's show one hour every day and it was between six and seven at night and then you had to go to bed after that. Um, so once every year on Christmas Eve, we are celebrating on Christmas Eve, not on Christmas Day. So on 24th at 3 o'clock every year, it was Donald Duck. One hour of cartooned Disney. And it was, um, it's kind of a show where first, um, what do you call him, Benjamin the cr Cricket in Swedish. He's a cricket, cartoon cricket. He's in the Pinocchio, I think originally and he's acting kind of like a host so he's introducing small clips of uh, Disney movies like um, oh my god I should have looked this up uh, Snow White like um, Robin Hood uh, and P what do you call them they're two little squirrels that always it's in the Mickey Mouse movie when he's going to chop his his Christmas tree and these two little squirrels are living in the tree so they come with him in the house and Pluto gets mad when he sees them little clip of those and they also always added um, the latest when I was older they added the latest Disney movie at the end you can see a small clip of the ones that are coming up on the movies cinemas 
during the year. I don't know if you get if this makes any sense. So it was like a show where he was introducing small little clips of all this Disney. Uh, and there was also Donald Duck when he he is um, a bird. You know, we watch birds in the jungle and there's a, a woodpecker that is, it is annoying him. <laughs> yeah, never mind. And that show is at three o'clock every Christmas Eve afternoon in Sweden. And I can promise you 99% of all the Swedes are sitting there watching Donald Duck. It's called Donald Duck's Christmas. In Swedish, Donald Duck is Kalle Anka. Duck is Anka. And Kalle, I don't know, Donald is not the same, but we say Kalle. Uh, um, yeah, so that is the one thing that I never, never miss. Ever. Maybe I have missed it once or twice in my life and I have seen it since I was as small as I can remember and it's it's still on there every year and then you should sit down you have your mulled wine maybe coffee and you have a pastry do you say things to eat with uh, like cookies and stuff that are especially Christmassy and you sit there and watch it for an hour that is for me the most important tradition that I have done for my whole life and I will continue um, till someone kill me. <laughs> until I'm too old to get to the TV. Um, there was actually once there were the, uh, what do you say, television company said that I wasn't going to send it because I don't know why. And there was a tremendous amount of protests from the Swedish people <laughs> so you can imagine and now I'm going in with the rock bottom the black one and the next question um, do I pref per prefer a live tree or a fake tree well a live tree there will nev never be a fake tree in my house for as long as I have something to say about it um, or for as long as I am able to go and get one. Um, when I was a child, we chopped our own tree. Um, of course, with the permission from the landowner. My father did it and yeah, now you buy one, but it's a real tree. Actually, I think I have a picture of my youngest uh, putting decoration in our tree today up on my story on Insta. Uh, it's a real tree and there will never ever be a plastic tree in my house for as long as I have something to say about it. Um, I always get, oh, it's patchy here. But I, of course, understand that people have plastic trees. You can be allergic or whatever. Uh, or you just don't want to buy a new one every year. They're not very ex expensive these days. But of course, if you buy one plastic one, you never have to buy it again. But to me, it's also a question of feel the smell and all of that. So yes, a live tree. What is your favorite Christmas decoration that you own? Oh my God, I was going to bring it here to show you. I have to pause this video. I will be back. Just a second. I'm back. Um, this may be, <laughs> you maybe th think this is a bit strange, but my favorite decoration, I don't know if this is something that is typically Swedish, uh, I think so, and it's a candle holder, 
and it looks like this 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 is for me so 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 typical Swedish Christmassy I don't know it's really really old design it's been for as far as I can I can remember my grandmother having these you can have them in different sizes and nowadays they're getting really trendy so you can find them as ceramic flower pots and I have two white big ones in my kitchen window with Christmas flowers in them um, I have two of these standing next to each other on my kitchen table um, and I don't know what it is with them but it always makes me feel a bit soft inside <laughs> I like the shape and uh, it's childhood memories but I also have um, do you say nativity scene I looked it up it sounds like a strange word I think I'm forgetting to put my makeup on um, hang on I need a brush I actually bought some Jessup brushes from Amazon recently I'm using uh, and I will take the Gnaze guy it's a reddish shimmery uh, color um, yes I have this what do you call it I have to <laughs> write the word down it's kind of a you know this small little house that is like a shed for where Jesus the Jesus child baby was born uh, according to the Bible I am not religious not for one minute um, but I like that and I have I have this little house and that I bought myself it's made of straw and looks like an, a shed or a barn or whatever and it's have the, the front is open and the little figurines that I have to put in there you know it's the little baby Jesus and um, Joseph and Mary and the shepherds and I have some sheep and cows that you place around this little shed and those figurines are really really old they are from when my dad was a child and he is born was born in 1927 so they are really old uh, so I like to have them I have them up on a big what do you say cabinet or something and I also also have a star that I hang from the roof down so it's on top of the above the little shed so I like that one and of course the tree I like the tree but this one is my favorite <laughs> yes uh, these shadows are actually good I forget to talk about my makeup and I can't wait to see I have it in my head that we're going to do something really similar actually because yeah, well, of course there's ways you can go with these colors but it kind of they have their given place in some way at least in my head but we will see. It will be fun to see what Erica is doing. Um, yeah, so that was my favorite decorations. Um, of course, also I love all the flowers. We have special flowers for Christmas. I don't know what you call them in English. Uh, we say hyacinth, hyacinth. I don't know. Amaryllis. Long flowers with long, long stems with big um, flowers on top. Okay, there's the reds. The red are the most common ones, but they are also white and white with kind of red stripes in them. Amaryllis. I don't know the English word for that, and I can't look it up because I'm filming with my phone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the next question, what
what is your favorite holiday beverage? Well, that would be mulled wine. That is to me the typical um, Christmas beverage. Of course, I like to have a, I don't know if that is especially Christmassy, but we, on Christmas Eve we sometimes have Irish coffee and um, wine, of course. I drink wine all year round. <laughs> but Christmas beverage, that will be mulled wine, I think. Um, I think that's really, really Swedish. I don't know. We have it. We, we are celebrating the Advent. So every Sunday, four Sundays up to Christmas, it's the first of Advent, second of Advent, and so on. And on Sundays. Um, now I will go in with the Dig It color, the, this shimmery beige ish. Um, yeah, and then on these advents, advent days, I don't know how to explain it, we have mold wine and gingerbreads and other stuff. And in the mold wine you should have raisins and Almonds. So you need a spoon to scoop them up when you're at the same time you're drinking it. Uh, I don't know if there is so much more typically Christmassy beverages, beverages. Not that I am used to anyhow. Eggnog maybe. I don't know. I don't drink that. Or I haven't even tried at least. Um yeah, so that's that. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Well <laughs> after Donald Duck on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I don't know because I never watch movies. I really like the, um, it's called A Christmas Carol and it's by Charles Dickens. Uh, it's a story of Ebenezer Scrooge. I think you have heard of that. Um, in Sweden we call it uh, a ghost story or something like that, Spök Historia, where he is haunted by the, his ghosts from past, present and future because he's a mean man and he needs to learn to be nice and he does I love that story, I've seen it as a theatre live and I've seen it as a movie and I like it otherwise I am the worst at watching movies I never watch movies and I don't know when everybody's talking about all of these Christmas movie movies I don't know what they're talking about. I heard the names, but I've never seen them. Uh, so, I don't know. Um, maybe I should... Wiping the powder away. There wasn't a lot of all of, out, actually. Uh, yeah, so that's that. What is my best Christmas memory? Oh my gosh, I have got to think about that. I don't know. I have a memory, but I not, don't know if it is my best. But I wasn't that old. How old was I? Like six, seven, seven, maybe six or seven. Not very old. And we were celebrating Christmas at my grandpa and grandma, my father's mother and father on my father's side and there was another family there that I know n not know of now not I can't say it I don't know who they were I can't remember um, but anyhow they had a little boy about my age 
and I was given in a Christmas as a Christmas gift from someone I don't remember who probably my mother and father a big big box of or you know, this um, with the watercolors do you know what I mean you dip the brush in water and then you swirl it around and lots of colors and you can paint with it and it was huge really really big lots of colors and I was so so happy for that and he when I sat there painting on Christmas Eve's night took his whole hand dipped it down in the glass of water and just smeared everything out in the box and I was so so sad I cried and of course it wasn't ruined you could always clean it up but I didn't understand that at the moment so I was so pissed at him <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I also remember, I think that, I don't know if that was the same Christmas Eve or if it was some year later. Um, and it was also as my at my grandmother's and grandfather's. Um, I had a nosebleed and I was bleeding heavily and it wouldn't stop. So they had to call the, now this is a long time ago and it was out in the countryside, no doctors available at the moment on Christmas Eve uh, so they I did not don't know where they called but they had to get help to make it stop because my mother couldn't make it stop <laughs> so, well eventually I did but I was had to lay down for a long long time during Christmas Eve because the blood was just keep on coming so I don't know if that's my best memory but it's something I remember um, uh, I also remember when I got my, a new pair of downhill skis. I grew up in the mountains, so we went skiing a lot downhill. Uh, and I got a, a new, I always had used ones, but I got, got my first pair of new skis. And I was so, so happy for that. Um, my best Christmas memory. When do you open your presents? In the morning or in the evening? Well, in Sweden, I think most people are doing it in the evening. Because we don't have this thing with the Santa coming down the chimney. He knocks on the door. Why should you press yourself down the chimney? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, as I said before, we don't celebrate on the 25th. Uh, the great, no, the biggest, big event is on the 24th in the evening. Um, I guess it's a bit different in all families, but we have always had it that um, you wake up, it's the if you're a child it's the longest day of the whole year <laughs> until you can open your gifts um, most people have lunch we don't always have that but um, uh, so you meet your family at lunch or maybe you have different places to go so some people are at lunchtime in one place and then they go to the next place and then there are Christmas dinner after you watched Donald Duck at three o'clock and lunch must have it you must already have had your lunch before Donald Duck important <laughs> uh, and well you eat your dinners maybe Christmas dinner with all the traditional food and we don't have turkey we have ham a big one oh, look at why? Oh. Uh, ham, a big one in the oven and it's pre-made, you do it maybe the day before or something because you have to have it in the oven, oven for hours and then you have to put stuff on it afterwards and in the oven again. It's mustard, egg, eggs and 
what do you call that crushed breadcrumbs kind of that you have on top and in the oven again for a few minutes so that you get a crisp surface on the ham well uh, ham is what we have and pickled herring and salmon and a lot of stuff uh, so we eat late afternoon early night um, and then the wait starts for Santa to come and knock on your door um, it's the most terrible wait in the whole year <laughs> when you're a kid and usually in many fa families it's like oh suddenly dad needs to go and buy the paper or he needs to go and buy something that's you ran out of something and while he is gone, the Santa knocks on the door. <laughs> um, and Daddy comes back and the children, Oh, Daddy, you just missed Santa. <laughs> In my family, when I was a kid, the person who was Santa has always been someone outside my family. And still to this day, I do not know which person that was. It was different every year, I guess. Um... So my my mother, I guess, had asked a neighbor or someone else to dress up like Santa and come and knock on the door. And he hands out all the gifts and then he say ho ho and leaves. <laughs> and you're so excited. <laughs> um, yeah, but usually it's your dad or someone else in the family that have this sudden urge of buying the newspaper. <laughs> yeah, so then all the gifts are handed out by Santa, he leaves and then everything breaks loose when everybody is just tearing up their gifts and yeah. It was a great feeling when you were a kid. We hardly even have any gifts anymore. We have a secret Santa. So for say we are like six people in our closest family. And someone is, um, you know, like a lottery. I get drawn to buy for one person and someone, someone else buys for me. And you have to hand a wish list to the person who is arranging it. And so you don't know who, who bought your gift. Um, and we have one specific amount of money that we decide that everybody will put in the same amount. So it will be fair for everybody. I did put, I forgot to talk my makeup. I did put the, what's it called? The, I can't read. I dig it. Same as I have hair, I have under my eye hair. This is a bit messy, I think. Uh, yeah, so that's what we do now because we think we're all too old to spend so much money on buying lots of gifts to everybody. It's stupid because you all, you have your own money, you, everybody's working, you can afford to buy whatever you want for yourself, so why should you spend a lot of money just switching your money around it's stupid even though I like it a lot but now we have stopped that uh, yeah so we do that in the evening and after that well the kind of tension is gone and uh, you can relax and have some mulled wine or a glass of wine and talk with your family and yeah whatever you want to do um, so the 25th for us is the day when everybody is tired if you have been partying maybe you're hangover you just want to sit on the couch take it easy uh, when you were a kid you played with your gifts the day after and yeah just 
relax and have a nice time. Uh, um, my favorite Christmas dessert. Well, actually, in my family, we don't eat as much desserts, actually, especially not on Christmas, not ever. Um, but we have something called rice porridge, I think you say in English, ris alla malta. Um, you have this porridge, this white porridge, I don't know what, you, what is that called. You mix it with cream, whipped cream and vanilla powder and until it gets really thick and gooey and it's so yummy uh, and you eat it with uh, either some kind of fruit sauce but I prefer to have uh, slices of orange to it it's really really good and tasty I like that so I guess that's my favorite uh, what is the one thing you always wanted for Christmas that you never received well I was trying I was thinking really hard about that and I, I don't know I, there's nothing I can think of, but then it hit me that I have actually never gotten any makeup for a Christmas. I have had gift cards so that I can go buy whatever I want myself, makeup-wise. But I, no one have ever actually bought real makeup to me, which is really strange because this, that is, and everybody knows that is the best thing I know. <laughs> so, no, I have never had that. So that was my 10 questions. Um, now I am um, uh, doing, I am in the middle of my Christmas looks at Instagram. I do only what I call Christmas looks. You can do whatever you want. Now I can take this one off. Um, uh, I use only red, greens, golds, maybe a bit silver for the whole of December or at least up to the 24th when we celebrate Christmas Eve. Um, and this is not a Christmassy look at all to me. Um, but I will try to make it. So I will use... Uh, I was debating if I was going to take this, isn't quite red, but an, or the green one, but I wanted the red eyeliner for this. But I have a plan. So we will see. Water. I've used all the colors now, so that you know. I will put in some inner corner highlight later. This is going to be a long video. This is the Cake It Liner uh, in Desire by uh, Artitude Cosmetics. And this is more a pinky one, but I am going to put red glitter on top. Sorry, you can't see me now. Yeah, so I will be really curious to hear what Erica has to say about her Christmas. Since we are not celebrating quite uh, in the same way. English people and Americans and I don't know who else are celebrating on the 25th. Uh, We do that a lot. We always celebrate on the evening before. Same with Easter uh, and Midsummer as well. It's not the Midsummer day. Then everybody is hungover. It's the Midsummer Eve. That is the big thing. And I can't wait to see her look. Um, like that. And I will take... Mm, should I take... I have a glitter here by Makeup Store. This doesn't exist anymore. It's a reddish 
and silvery glitter and I will try to put it on top of my liner so I'm using mixing liquid here it's also by makeup store to get the glitter to stick and I'm using a flat brush this is just a crafts brush mm. And then I do like this, just press it on. So that was that. And mascara. The Lash Princess from Essence. Something like that. Well, eh, I'm messy under my eyes. I forgot to tell you that I had prepared my face, but I guess you understood that. Um, it's, it's, it's the Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti Shine Shine Base Keep Me Matte from Catrice. And I have the Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation by Smashbox. My powder is the cheap one from Dollar Store. As usual, it's almost gone. Um, and my bronzer, I finally used it for the last time. Uh, the Earth Powder by Nova number 52 it is. I have thrown the packaging away. Uh, won't use it again. Um, my blush is also by Nova from the same same kind of packaging from a tester stand. It's it's about to fall out. It's this reddish one. It's called Blush on Bubble Number no. Fifty One. It's a reddish one. And my lippy, I as per usual forgotten to prepare my lippy. It's going to be a red one. No, wait. Now I'm ahead. I will use this one, it's just an old one, the Sofx Makeup Revolution Sofx Highlighter Palette. And I will take this, the bright, they have no names, it's the brightest gold one. It kind of almost goes, flows together with the shadow they have closest in my, to my inner corner. Uh, and on my cheeks. Something like that. Uh, need some more blush. I can't wait to see Erica, so I'm really curious if she managed to do something completely different than I did. I'm really glad for the color story you chose well, Erica. Lippies. Um, yeah, what shall we take? This is what I have left to use. I think I'll take my Kaleidos one. This is, uh, well, I had it for a while, but I haven't used it a lot. Oh, this is a really bright red. My eyeliner has, it's been bleeding a bit. It doesn't matter, I will just wash this off. 
so this is my finished look no it's not i'm just kidding wait <laughs> my contact lens is out um, and now i'm blind my glasses and uh, yes so shadows so I used this one under my brow this one is under my crease under my crease in my crease slightly above the crease brow bone and this one is like here and kind of mid lid I guess and that one is in my inner part in a corner and under the uh, and this one is my outer corner of course and I also use that one under my eye and it turned out really messy never mind stone cold fox did I say that it is it's from Colourpop I don't know but it is um, so that was it. I can't wait to see you look, Erica. I'm really curious um, what you did. It's dirty. Uh, and if you're here from Erica's channel, uh, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Please hit the subscribe button, uh, comment and like. That would mean the world to me. Uh, and all of you, take care. Be careful out there. And don't stress out too much now that it's Christmas time and Erica thank you so so much for wanting to do this with me I have enjoyed it and I like to do this with you a lot so everybody that's it no it's not <laughs> oh my god I'm so confused I forgot the close-up can you see like so glittery eyeliner can you see that it's been bleeding a bit never mind um, now I'm done take care see you later bye bye